Hello everyone. This is In the Beginning Was the Word, and my name is Patricia Dixon. You know, someone on Facebook Messenger today uh, reminded me of something. You know, a lot of times we as believers, you know, we go through things as well. You know, God had said in his word in uh, Psalms, the 34th chapter, the 19th verse, and this is the verse that the person on Messenger just reminded me, not me specifically, she just put the scripture up there because it's a group, you know how you can have those messenger groups, but it, it really touched home with me because I, I hear uh, on, on Twitter and Facebook, a lot of believers are going through things. They, they have sick family members, you know, and they'll say, you know, I'm going through, uh, I, someone's having an operation, my mother is in the hospital, my father, you know, and so we as believers, we go through as well. But in Psalms, the 34th chapter, the, the 19th verse, God has said to us, the, the word of God says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. You know, and that, and that hit me, home, it hit home because it says all. It didn't say he would deliver us out of some of them and some of them. We, he said the Lord will deliver them out of the, them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. That's encouraging. As a believer, that's encouraging. And I just want to encourage any believer out there that's going through because we are human as well. God never told us, even in salvation, that we wouldn't go through anything, that we wouldn't have problems. But the difference is we have a Lord and Savior. We have a God. That, that, look, that looks down on us and takes care of us, that inclines his ear to our every need and our desires, and he loves us and wants to take care of us, and he does take care of us. So I just wanted to encourage believers today. If you're a believer, I want to encourage you because, and then after I read that, this was earlier today, you see, God, is, God will put people in your path for you to see the difference and as a believer, your life and theirs. I mean, you, like I say, we as believers, we go through things as well, but we have hope. We have a hope in Christ Jesus. We can come home. We can get in the word of God. We can read his word. We can pray. And we can just get a peace that comes over us. The peace of God can come over us because we have him. But the world doesn't have God. So I'm standing, I, I, after work today, I went, I stopped by the grocery store and I'm standing in the checkout line and in front of me is a lady, you know, and she, she, she put the bar there for me and my stuff. And I said, thank you. She says, you're welcome. Welcome. And she says, you know, I'm just so stressed out. I'm stressed out. I had a rough day today at work. And I said, ma'am, I, I know what you're talking about. I said, I've had some of those days too. I said, but it's over now. I said, you can go home and you can rest now. It's over. And she says, yeah, you have a good attitude. And then she looked at my things that I had put on the counter. Now, I hadn't really paid attention to what she had, her things. But she looked at what I had, and she looked at me, and she says, where is your wine? And I said, ma'am, I don't drink. And then I looked, and she had a bottle of wine. That's all she had. That's what she, but that let me know how blessed I am. And that let me know that that woman does not have hope. So the way she tries to solve her problems is she gets a bottle of wine after work. And, that's how, and she goes home and tries to solve them that way. But you see, that could have been me as well. And that let me, me know that I have hope. Believers have hope. She doesn't have that hope. She doesn't have it. And she was stressed out. I've been stressed out. Because see, as believers, we suffer the same kinds of things that the world suffers. We have to work with all kinds of people, all types of people. They come to work, they bring their problems to work with them, and you have to get along with them. So I understand that lady having all those distress. But the difference is, the difference is, I do not have to buy a bottle of wine every night to go home to, to try to just drink my problems away. I can come home and I can get in the word of God and I can get peace. 
so so can you as a believer. And I just want to encourage believers uh, that we have hope and, and, and let you know and remind you that what God's word has said. He says many, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. And also in 2 Timothy, the third chapter, I believe the 12th verse, it says, uh, those who, the righteous people that desire to live righteous, I'm paraphrasing it, will be persecuted. Now, every time that we, every problem we are going through not, is not necessarily us being persecuted because we make some stupid mistakes ourselves, even as believers. We bring some things on ourselves that have nothing to do with being persecuted. You know, a lot of people say, the devil is attacking me. The devil is doing this. Some Satan is doing this. Not all the time it's the devil. We make stupid mistakes. I know I've made a lot of stupid mistakes, and then I end up in, in a situation. I have a problem. That, but either way, though, I can come to God and I can confess and I can repent. I said, Lord, that was a stupid thing I did. This is why I'm in this situation. But he will deliver me out of them all. He will show me a way to get out of my problems. Sometimes he doesn't even take them away, which he shouldn't because it's a teaching experience for me. He doesn't take them away. Sometimes we get mad. Why don't you fix this? I, I know I did something stupid and I put myself in this situation. Why don't you get it away from me? Why don't you take it away from me? I remember when I was younger, I used to get mad at God. I'm saying, you know, I, I know I did it, but you you do this. But he didn't. But he took care of me, and, he, and I had peace during the problem. And you know that song he said, I'm going through. You remember that old song that the old people like to say, I'm going through. It's like they love that song. It's not like they was going through all the time. I'm not going to say I've, I've been going through all the time. But I have gone through, and he has brought me through. But he has taught me something along the way. But I did not one time as a believer, not one time that I have to resort to anything else but God. I've always just turned to God and just and went through it. But just think of how blessed I am and how blessed you are as a believer that you don't have to say, I gotta go get a cigarette, I gotta go get some drugs, I gotta go I gotta drink this bottle of wine. I gotta do so. I don't have to do that. Because it could be the exact same problem, the exact same problem that the that the world is going through. An unsaved co-worker could be going through the exact same problem that you're going through. The difference is you have hope as a believer. I have hope as a believer. And the non-believer does not. And I just want to encourage anybody today that's going through uh, that God said in his word that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver you out of them all. And that is Psalms, the 34th chapter, the 19th verse. Have a blessed day.